Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Ensa or Gessie. Please, if you are new here, kindly subscribe to my channel. And if you have been watching my videos and if you not yet subscribed, please kindly subscribe for us to build the mathematics community. Uh, in this lesson, we are looking at complex numbers, and under complex numbers, we are looking at trigonometric application of De Morvis theorem. Thanks to Piano Lessons for requesting for this video. And thanks to Ali Park from the University of Ghana for sending me this uh, question. Here yeah, we have to use the Morvis theorem to prove that cosine of p theta plus i sine p of theta times cosine of p of theta plus i times sine of p of theta equal to cosine of p plus q times theta plus i of sine of plus i times sine of p plus q times theta. So now from the from the Morvis theorem, we know that if we have um, Cosine of theta plus i times sine of theta to the power n. This is equal to cosine of n theta plus i times sine of uh, n theta so if i have cosine of theta plus i times sine of theta to the power p i'm going to get cosine of p theta plus i times sine of p theta and if i have Cosine of theta plus i times sine of theta to the power q. I'm going to get cosine of q theta plus i times sine of q theta. Now, what am I going to do? I have to multiply this by that. So, Cosine of P of theta plus I times sine of P of theta times cosine of Q of theta plus I times sine of Q of theta is equal to, this is equal to what? We have this to equal to that. So it's equal to cosine of theta plus I sine of theta to the power p times cosine of theta plus i times sine of theta to the power q here we are multiplying the same base so we add the powers so this will give us cosine of theta plus i sine of theta to the power p plus q and from what we have here to the power n, we are going to have cosine of p plus q times theta plus i sine of p plus q times theta, and that is to be shown and it's proved very simple. And that uh, I think uh, Araba is a uh, Harriet, you are watching this video, right? Uh, Ali Muhammad, uh, peace, Adena, you are all from the University of Ghana. So we've proved it very simple that if we are multiplying, you add what we have there. Very, very simple. Now, let's do that to simplify what we have there. Now, let's take the first one. The first one a hence we have to simplify cosine of 3 theta plus i sine of 3 theta divided by sine of 5 theta plus minus i sine of 5 theta so this is the same as cosine of 3 theta plus i sine of 5 theta sine of 3 theta rather times Wow, this is cosine. This is cosine, not sine. Not sine. 
this is cosine so this is cosine so we take cosine of 5 theta minus i sine of 5 theta to the power negative 1 and as we stated this will come and multiply so we are going to have cosine of 3 theta plus i sine of 3 theta to be equal to cosine of minus 1 times this and that will give us minus 5 theta minus i into brackets minus 1 times this will be minus sine of minus 5 theta so this will give us cosine of 3 theta plus i sine of 3 theta times cosine of this is the same as cosine of positive pi theta since cosine is an even function and this will give us if you, if you find sine of this you get negative so negative times negative will give us positive i sine of 5 theta now let me explain this if you have sine of negative theta is the same as negative sine of positive theta so if we bring the negative out it will come and cancel the negative and this place will be positive very very simple so here we are good to go if we have this it is equal to that one so we are going to take cosine of 3 plus 5 theta plus i sine of 3 plus 5 theta and that will give us cosine of 8 theta plus i sine of 8 theta wow very simple as that now let's take the second example For the second example, we have cosine of 4 theta plus i sine of 4 theta times cosine of 3 theta plus i sine of 3 theta all divided by cosine of 5 theta plus i sine of 5 theta. So what, what do you do? The top you apply the law so the top will become cosine of 7 theta as you add 4 theta and 3 theta and you get this plus i sine of 7 theta that is very simple as that i hope now you can do it straight away divided by cosine of 5 theta plus i sine of 5 theta now how do we do this remember that this one too can be expanded as cosine of 5 theta plus 2 theta cosine of 5 plus 2 theta plus i sine of 5 plus 2 theta all divided by cosine of 5 theta plus i sine of 5 theta right correct we can do that so if we have this we change it to this so if we have this we are bringing back to this one so this one will give us cosine of 5 theta plus i sine 2 theta so plus i sine 5 theta times cosine of 2 theta plus i sine 2 theta wow you see that you can change you can change it you are bringing this one back here yes get it right very nice all oh, divided by cosine of 5 theta plus i sine of 5 theta and you know that this one 
or cancel this and we'll be left with cosine of q theta plus i sine of q theta wow and let's take the last one and go and for the last one we are having cosine of pi on 3 plus i sine of pi on 3 all squared times cosine of 2 pi on 3 plus i sine of 2 pi on 3 this is to the power 4 so here we have the power multiplying the angle so we would have cosine of 2 times pi on 3 will give us 2 pi on 3 plus i sine of 2 pi on 3 times the power will multiply the angle cosine of 8 pi on 3 plus i sine of 8 pi on 3 and that will give us cosine of you add the angle 2 pi on 3 2 pi on 3 plus 8 pi on 3 will give us 10 pi on 3 plus i 2 pi on 3 plus this will give us 10 pi on 3 so we have sine of 10 pi on 3 and here our operator will help us set our operator into radians that will give us cosine of 10 pi on 3 this one will give us a negative half and sine will give us the same negative root 3 on 2 wow thank you for watching please like subscribe share and leave your comments bye bye